Hey everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Some Metroid. Uh, you might remember in the Mario Kart Wii vs. Let's Play that I did with Viral Rack, I was saying that I wasn't fond of the first Metroid game because I said it really didn't give you any like guidance on where to go and what to do, really. I mean, this screen right here is literally the only instructions you actually get for the whole game. And, uh... I, I just thought I might actually try playing some volume and see like how far I actually get. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. See if we're going to start that new game. Now what you're about to see is the extent of my knowledge for this game. Which is uh, instead of going right like you do in most 8-bit games you go left. So now we have the moth ball. Press down, Samus curls into a ball. It's the only way to get through these one block gaps, so yeah. Other than that, you've just got uh, the A button to jump, B button to shoot your laser, which doesn't even go all the way across the screen. It goes that far, it's stupid really. Uh, Samus can shoot left, right and up, but can't shoot like diagonally at all so kind of sucks and for some reason she only starts off with 30 health when she can have a maximum of 99 you'd, you'd think it'd be one of the last things you do before you leave the ship make sure your energy is all fully charged but nope Samus just charges right in just take down more of these bats See, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going now. I'm just like, okay, I can head right, so why not head right? I'll just head right until I can't head right anymore. Or until there's like an, another option other than just straight up heading right. At the moment, that's been my only option, really, so. See, we crawl under here. Another issue I have with the game, like, as, aside from the whole mapping things is that some of the enemy placement in this game can be completely unfair at times and oh my god uh, okay back in there just barely escaped that so, got that I'm gonna wait for this guy to hit the wall see if we can get some more energy out of him if possible so there we go Gonna see if we can actually hit 99 health. So if we go up or down here, I'm gonna say let's go down and start from the bottom, work our way up, and okay, that's the bottom. So start heading up. Oh come on, I can't even reach him from here. Okay, so uh, here we are at the first door that I've actually found while it's climbing. I've been climbing for a little while now, so let's just see where this door takes us. And it's to another corridor. Great, I wonder if we actually made progress or not. I don't know, because the game won't tell me. Oh god, I I, I hate this. Like, it's just going to be a constant stream of enemies coming out of pretty much like a Mario style warp pipe sort of deal. It's just... Going to keep on coming. Oh god. Okay, nearly at full health. We, we can actually get to full health. That would be great. I want to just drop some health. Oh, is that a missile? Oh, oh. Yeah! Okay, so just press select to switch from missile to... From laser to missile mode, back and forth. That Samus's palette changes a little bit. Oh, so, yeah. Still got to deal with these Mario warp pipe enemies, but hey, you can pick up missile drops now. And God damn it! Found an elevator. Let's do this. So did I actually make it somewhere, or? 
mean, should I be here at this point? Let's try left. Oh god, you look pretty aggressive. <laughs> uh, there we go. Still only give me five health back though. Okay, let's keep going. Wish I could crouch and shoot, but that's apparently not an option for Samus. Oh god, get out the lava. It's nice that you've got five more missiles though. Okay, so I can't hit that thing. I can't roll over that thing in this form. Okay, jump, jump. Eh. Can I missile open? No. So I'm at a dead end, I'm on incredibly low health, and... Eh. No. See if we can hit you with a missile. There we go. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, I do have to compliment this game for actually having really good mid-air con controls at least. Like, Samus really feels like she's going exactly where you want it to, so... Props to the game for that, I guess. Well, at least got some missiles out of that room. Let's see what's behind door number two. Lost. Damn it. Everyone remember that. I'm packed at triple zero P double zero. A line of zeros. Oh wait, why? OB2. Wooter. So we're back here and we're on 30 health, that's great isn't it? As if this room's going to completely wipe me out in like 10 seconds anyway. Oh god! Oh my god! So basically I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. I'm trying to go down this corridor. I don't even know if this corridor is the right way to go because I've got no guidance on this game. This is a game that you literally do need a guide to be able to complete it, really, so... But wait, is 5 my max capacity again? But I picked up more missiles over here! Do I have to do this again now? Finally. Wait, I did... What? Why could I only have five missiles then? It's shit like this that makes me think that Metroid 1's a bad game. Like, I don't mind Super Metroid as much because like, I think that I did really well in terms of gameplay and stuff, but like in terms of controls more than anything. But this game really sucks. Let's see if we can get through this corridor this time without the game pulling some kind of bullshit on me. Oh, I get what we have to do here. I'll just wait for that bottom block to respawn and... Okay, we got through that pretty okay. Over the middle, keep running. Sticking to the top route seems to be working best for me. What's behind this door? Oh great, another one of these corridors. Oh god. 
starting from the bottom up is actually giving me a new option this time. Shocking. Let's see what I forgot. Uh. Keep running, keep running, keep running. No, no, no. God fucking damn it. Yeah, but here's a password that you never heard of before. Ultimate super secret. My uh, uncle at Nintendo told me about this password. Nobody else knows of its existence. Well, they wouldn't if I entered it, right? Here we are, Samus still has 30 HP, but... See, and this is where I was last time, isn't it? Well, I guess we have the wave beam now. Die, 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 die. Well, this time I didn't have to start off with just five missiles. God, no! Back down to 30 health again, eh? Why can't Sam shoot down? That makes things a lot easier. I'm just going to run with the wave beam in front of me. Seems to help out a lot. Okay, so I decided to go up in this corridor this time around. Fuck you. What am I meant to do here? Let's go up. Fit in that, that's nice. Let's try this door. Okay, let's just screw attack over. Keep going. Uh, why did that break? Why that one piece? I'm just gonna grab this. Is that true for the block above all these pillars or what? Okay, so why? Can't roll into anything down here. Can't break through the wall. I, I can get it. I can get behind the game being a bit cryptic about its clues, but like so many red herrings around like that. It's just why. Hopefully they'll reach 99 again. Like I might be able to fill up one of the energy tanks in the top corner, but yeah. Let's just get going. So I guess I do have to take the bottom one this time. Well, let's hope I don't die on the way down since Sam's can't shoot downwards and all the enemies are just gonna be there by the time I land. These enemies aren't even good for an effective health grinder. I've just been stood here for a good couple of minutes. I've got those two health packs that I got in a row. The only ones I've been picking up. Except from that one. Oh, oh. I'm actually heading somewhere in one of these little wall corridor things. 
Keep going. Keep going, Samus. There we go. We'll kill that deadly atomic ball thing. Can I actually kill this guy or... He seems to take damage and... Just... Out of reach. And I can't drop another one in mid-air, so I don't know if I'm supposed to break this or not. I don't know. Kinda stuck here, game. So I'm just kind of lost and just kind of bored with this game, to be honest. Like, I have no clue if I've actually made any progress at all in this game. Like, there's no real indicator, like... I, I know I'm supposed to be here to kill Mother Brain in the grand scheme of things, but there's no way of knowing if I actually managed to get closer to her lair or not, because there's so many areas in this, and I know I have to kill Kraden Ridley beforehand as well, but okay, where are they? What d direction do I head in to take them out? A nice slowdown game. Great! Thanks, Uncle. Well, this should make the game much more enjoyable. Down, down, kill everything. See, so is there anything useful all the way down here? Oh, there's that one door, so let's try it. Well, if that is an intimidating sight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This music was in Smash Brothers. Me lay on that awesome stage with great up in the background, yeah. Wait, why am I even bothering these guys? I can just run through. All right, let's keep going. Oh god, I remember those weirdos in uh, Metroid Fusion. I actually run out of ammo with these. Now I don't. Ah, it's great to wield Napa's sword. I don't know if I'm heading the right way or not. I wish you move so slowly in the lava water thing. Oh good, I needed more ammo, I was running low. And up and over. There we go. I have a feeling this is supposed to be one way only. And I'm not going the right way. Was I just here? Wasn't I here when I started the video? Well, when I started with Napa's sword.
What way am I supposed to be headed? See, having a bad method for your players to navigate is bad enough when you start copying and pasting things, it gets ridiculous. Can I actually climb any higher or...? Well, then it must be a copy and pasted room, but... My god, I'm fucking lost. I do not know where to go. Here is stupid now. I just want to blow the brain up. See, even with the cheat mode on, I'm still getting pretty bored of this because I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm supposed to go and stuff. This really isn't a good exploration game for me, it's just see whatever the fuck's there and try doing something, you know? Now, even games that have open world exploration, you still have an objective. And I get that I kind of do here, but it's not... You know, the... There's nothing telling me, oh yeah, you have to kill three bosses and then you can leave this planet. It's just like, hey, there's space pirates on this planet, go kill. And it's just... <sighs> well, I think that's about it for Let's Play some Metroids. Like, I'm completely bored and there's nothing else I really want to do here. Like, I, I think this game's aged really terribly and... Even saying that, I don't think it was that good a game to begin with when you look at it. I mean, like, I know people give, like, The Legend of Zelda NES some flack for being, like, difficult to explore, but at least I had some characters in the game that actually tried explaining stuff to you. Like, they'd, they'd give you cryptic hints, but they'd still be hints, you know? There'd be something in game to actually help the player. And even then, like, every copy of The Legend of Zelda NES came packaged with, like, a map and strategy guide and stuff, and it's just... This game, like, pales completely in comparison, and, like, I'm just not happy with it at all, you know? So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys later. Take care.